Our planet Earth has some of the most breathtaking landscapes. But unlike tourist-filled cities and towns, there are a few places no human should ever dare to visit. Here are the top 10 most dangerous places on Earth. Number 10. Danakil Desert, Eritrea Hell on Earth and the world's most inhospitable place are nicknames rightfully given to the Danakil Desert in Eritrea. If these nicknames weren't enough to paint a picture of how dangerous this place truly is, let's dig a little deeper. The sun favors one place on Earth, and that place sits in Eritrea, Africa. Located in northeast Ethiopia, it's the land the Afar people call home, Danakil Desert. With an average year-round temperature of 95 degrees Fahrenheit, this African desert is one of the hottest scorching places on Earth. But the dry and hot weather aren't the only features of this astounding desert. Across hundreds of miles stands the Danakil Depression, a place where three tectonic plates join and create the depression. As small volcanoes dominate the Rift Valley, the floor is mostly made of basaltic lava. Its flaming hot lava can be captured at night when the flaming magma displays a dangerously beautiful scene. Number 9. Valley of Death, Russia You might think the Valley of Death is an over-exaggeration, or a tad bit too dramatic. But once you hear about this supernatural place, you'll see why this name is very fitting and apt. Located in eastern Russia is a place that is called an animal graveyard, with many puzzling head-scratching and backstories and origins. This valley remains to be an unsolved mystery. According to legend, two hunters stumbled upon the bizarre land in the 1930s. Upon climbing up the Kipnich volcano, they saw land with no grass or plants, covered with dead animal bodies. The explorers soon started to feel dizzy and decided to flee the area. As rumors of the mysterious land spread, many tried to finally solve the puzzle and come back with proper answers. Just like animals, around 80 human lives were taken by the supernatural valley. Scientists have deduced that the lethality of the land is due to high concentrations of poisonous gases that arise from the volcano. A mix of hydrogen sulfide, carbon dioxide, and sulfur dioxide kill living creatures within minutes, whilst also preserving dead animals' bodies for years. As the deadly gases accumulate throughout the animal's bodies, it prevents the bacteria responsible for decomposition to complete its action. That's why animal bodies were seen scattered around the land. As one might expect, the Valley of Death is closed for visitors. The only way to sneak a peek of the land is through a helicopter tour, which costs a hefty $700. Number 8. Madidi National Park, Bolivia At first glance, this incredible land looks straight out of a fairy tale. But this picturesque park is extremely dangerous in real life. Mandidi National Park, located in Bolivia, is the home to the most poisonous and venomous fauna in the world. A simple touch, cut, or a wound can become infected with tropical parasites that cause dizziness and even death. And while this land is undoubtedly very dangerous and hazardous, it doesn't stop tourists and travelers from making a quick trip down to the Mandidi National Park. The mesmerizing Bolivian park is home to some of the most majestic creatures known to man. From exotic animals to unique fauna, Mandidi Park is filled with surprises and wonders. From jaguars, otters, to crested eagles and hummingbirds, the park has over 1,100 different animal and bird species. But when it comes to the real danger a human can face, one must always remember that this gorgeous and green park houses some of the most toxic and poisonous fauna in the world. Extremely deadly parasites await as a cut or wound is detected on a human. And when the perfect time arises, it hits the immune system and causes sudden death. Madidi National Park, as breathtaking and beautiful as it may be, is known for its venomous spiders, snakes, and poisonous plants. So, if you're thinking about visiting this exotic land, make sure you stay safe and follow the guide rules carefully. Nica Crystal Cave, Mexico the Nica Crystal Cave in Mexico is so mysterious and unexplored that National Geographic shot an hour-long documentary showcasing the dangers and wonders of the Crystal Cave. Three scientists geared up for a deep exploration trip as they visited Nica's mountain's infamous cave. Located in the Chihuahuan Desert, this mountain is home to the biggest crystals in the world. As hot magma lurks below the cave, this Mexican destination is a heatstroke accident waiting to happen. The three scientists sent for an impossible mission had different goals in mind. Their main objective was to collect the crystal samples and to later observe them. There are these crystals the size of redwood trees. You stand there with your mouth wide open, said Chris McKay, a planetary scientist. 
Exciting and life-changing as this adventure might have been, one must remember that as soon as a person walks into the cave, their body starts to die. With incredibly high temperatures and unbearable humidity, the only way to approach such a cave was by using protective suits. But even with the appropriate attire, the scientists only have about a half hour to collect their samples and get out alive. George Coronas, a well-known adventurer and documentary expert, was given the green light to spend only one day at the notorious Crystal Cave. It took the explorer two years to finally get the permission needed, but according to the Daredevil, it was worth the wait. It looks like Superman's Fortress of Solitude, says George. As far as the hot temperature goes, even George vouched for the cave's unbearable heat, commenting, as soon as you walk in, you start to die. Number 5. Kawa Ijen Volcano, Indonesia Seeing the breathtaking and mesmerizing blue lava-like rivers of light might seem like a futuristic movie scene, but in reality, it's extremely poisonous Kawa Ijen Lake. A stunning turquoise lake sits at the peak of Kawa Ijen Volcano, and at night, electric blue flames can be seen rolling down the mountainsides. The absolutely jaw-dropping lake is full of hydrochloric acid, which is more corrosive than battery acid. The hydrogen chloride gas spewing from the volcano collides with sulfur-containing gases and creates a powerful chemical that is unimaginably corrosive. The Greek-Canadian explorer George Karaunas once again had the opportunity to explore one of the world's most dangerous places. The adventurer took a small rubber boat out into the acid lake to measure its acidity. It's just a toxic lake of sulfuric acid. What could possibly go wrong? The pH of the water was measured to be as low as 0.13. But even though this volcano and lake are clearly dangerous and deadly to humans, miners still risk their lives to collect the accumulated sulfur. George had watched these miners hard at work and recalls how the only protection they had was a wet rag stuffed into their mouth. The sulfur dioxide gas would still leak through and dissolve away their front teeth. Beautiful as it may seem, the Kawa Ijen volcano and lake is one of the most dangerous places on Earth. Number 4. Mount Washington, New Hampshire, United States it's a widely known fact that Mount Everest is not only the tallest mountain in the world, but is also the most dangerous mountain on Earth. And while no other great summit can come close to the incredible height and perplexity of Mount Everest, there's one other mountain in the world that holds a substantial title, known as the most dangerous small mountain in the world. Mount Washington in New Hampshire is any hiker's worst nightmare. But what exactly makes this peak so hazardous? It's clearly not the height, but the wind. In April 1934, the highest ever wind velocity of 231 miles per hour was recorded on Mount Washington. Even at wind speeds of 60 miles per hour, hiking becomes nearly impossible. Powerful blowing winds and cold weather combine to intensify hypothermia. Freezing temperatures that drop to negative 40 Fahrenheit and continuous heavy snowfalls make Mount Washington a truly dangerous place to visit. Daredevil hikers who see this mountain as a beatable obstacle do heavy research before starting their unforgettable journey. Meticulous calculations have to be made in order to begin the adventure with appropriate weather. With over 150 recorded fatalities since 1849, it's paramount to embark on such an adventure extremely prepared and organized. Number 3. Lake Nos, Cameroon the silent but deadly Lake Nos turned out to be much more dangerous than scientists first assumed. Lake Nos, located in Cameroon, Central Africa, seemed like an innocent, beautiful lake, surrounded by small villages. At first glance, no one could expect this quiet, blue, and picturesque lake to be more than just a pool of water. But the narrative changed on one fateful August night. In 1986, a tall fountain of water started spouting out of Lake Nos. The fountain soon released a white cloud of gas, which grew bigger by the minute. It reached 300 feet in height and spread over to the nearby villages. Residents soon started to lose consciousness and collapse on the ground. The gas turned out to be carbon dioxide. At concentrations greater than 15%, carbon dioxide can be lethal. And on that August night, more than 1,700 villagers died on the spot. CO2 can be kept under lakes and surrounding rocks for decades. When a volcano erupts, it emits dangerously high amounts of carbon dioxide. This compound has the ability to pass through rocks and slowly dissolve in the groundwater. If this event takes place near a lake, carbon dioxide eventually saturates the water, leaving it to be extremely dangerous and hazardous. While most cases of dissolved underwater carbon dioxide overturn, reach the surface, and eventually dissolve in the atmosphere, this didn't happen to Lake Nyos. 
poisonous gas remained trapped until something triggered its release and resulted in over 1,700 deaths. Number two, Fraser Island, Australia. A fun way to spend a hot summer day is to pack your suitcase and head to the beach. Everyone enjoys a refreshing, entertaining time at the beach, swimming and tanning alongside your friends and family. But one beach that's categorically forbidden is located on Fraser Island. Just off the southeastern coast of Queensland, Australia, stands a beautifully mesmerizing beach. But unlike your local shores, Fraser Island is the number one most dangerous beach in the world. Every aspect of the beach is unsafe and extremely hazardous, from the ocean water and beach sand to the animals and water species that inhabit this land. No part of Fraser Island is considered to be bearable for humans. Deep inside the ice-cold waters live Irukandji jellyfish and blue bottles, tentacled species with powerful stinging abilities. How can sand be dangerous, you may ask? As the sand in the lakes can't be seen, enthusiastic swimmers choose to go head first into the water without any hint of how shallow the water truly is. As far as animal inhabitants go, most have heard of the infamous Australian dog species, the dingoes. And unlike our human companions and loyal dogs, these species aren't as friendly to people as one might assume. They are wild, undomesticated predators that can attack anyone or anything that triggers aggression or irritation. As there are thousands of beaches across the world, there is no logical reason to visit Fraser Island without a death wish. Number 1. Elephant Kingdom, Thailand The Elephant Kingdom, located in Chonburi, Thailand, is thought to be the world's most terrifying tourist attraction. While cities and towns all over the world offer beautiful scenery and historic castles, this particular tourist attraction offers something completely different. Even though the name Elephant Kingdom might make you think this famous Thailand destination is stretched out land inhabited by elephants, in reality, it's something quite the opposite. Have you ever wanted to climb into a metal cage and feed reptiles? Well, the notorious Elephant Kingdom offers just that. Tourists from all over the world gather in Chonburi in the hopes of feeding live 10-foot-long crocodiles, only separated by a metal cage that is kept afloat with plastic barrels. There is little to no barrier against the deadly reptiles. Tourists on board of the metal cages often don't realize that they themselves could end up being the crocodile's meals. The small caliber rafts were often broken down and unsafe. The empty plastic barrels that held up the cage would often sink or move, adding suspense to the already tense situation. When a tourist captured the now viral photo of tourists dangling food for the reptiles, social media went berserk. The international outcry forced the Thai government and local police to finally step in and take proper measures. This extremely dangerous and over-the-top park was finally shut down in 2016 on the counts of numerous safety hazards.